Brooks, Pride Myrtle Beach is urging residents and visitors to spend their money at places that support the LGBTQ plus community. A post from the organization's Facebook page is commenting on how Horry County retracted its resolution for making June Pride Month in Horry County. The latest urgency comes just five days before the kickoff of Myrtle Beach Pride Week. News 13's Jennifer Blake joins us live in the newsroom right now. And Jennifer, tell us a little bit more background information about why this post was made. Well, Bob and Annette, I spoke with the executive director of Pride Myrtle Beach about why, what the goal of this post was, and he says it's to bring awareness. I think it's important for people to know who's, who supports them and who don't. A post on the Pride Myrtle Beach Facebook page says, in part, quote, Horry County issued, then rescinded, a Pride Month proclamation in June of 2022, but the city of Myrtle Beach remained in support of our communities and let their Pride proclamation stand. Myrtle Beach supports our communities. Horry County does not. Please spend accordingly, unquote. This post is directed towards how Horry County Council rescinded its resolution for a Pride Month. And say thank you for myself and from many, many other of your constituents. Um, I want to say thank you for your bold stand that you were willing to take uh, on the gay pride resolution. Previously, Councilman Johnny Vaught said people reached out to him saying that a Pride Month proclamation does not reflect the views of the conservative majority of Horry County residents. He also said the proposed resolution was simply labeled Pride Month and it got lost in the mix of the consent agenda. But McGee says the LGBTQ plus community is part of the county. Well, a lot of LGBTQ plus visitors live, work and visit here every year and they're we're a big part of the economy. We pay taxes, we own businesses uh, in the county and in the city. He believes everybody has the right to know about the places they're shopping at, especially when on vacation. We're just asking that visitors that are coming to town, um, first of all, they know what happened and second, that they might want to choose to spend their money inside Myrtle Beach, just to give them an option and to show them where where they're supported and where they're not supported. And when I reached out to County Councilman Johnny Vaught for a response to the post, he said, quote, no, thank you. This is a dead issue with me. Live in the newsroom, Jennifer Blake, News 13.